Fox News Alert now. We're hearing underway on the Hill. Lawmakers grilling the new IRS commissioner. His name is John Koskinen. Some lawmakers want to know why he reinstated performance bonuses at the agency. That hearing also comes as House Republicans demanding a special counsel to investigate the targeting of conservative groups. Two topics. Steve King is a member of the House Judiciary Committee, and Steve King is with me now. How are you, sir, and good morning? Welcome back Thanks to our Thanks for having program. me on. Doing great here uh, so yeah. far this uh, morning, Bill. What we've heard from the new head of the IRS is that morale was low. Bonuses had to come back in to cheer everybody up, essentially. Are you okay with that? Well, no, I'm not. And if morale is low, he should ask about the morale of the American people who are watching the IRS go in and, I'll say, concentrate on the president's political enemies. But when you lay out $62.5 million in bonuses to improve their morale because it's low, that tells you that the employees see those bonuses as an entitlement. They aren't really a bonus because they're demanding them. Well, can you, say, re can you reverse those bonuses or are they just already baked into the cake right now? Well, uh, I'm going to guess they're baked into the cake unless the pressure gets so high in the hearing today that he might agree that he would withdraw those $62.5 million. I would be asking him, why don't you dedicate those funds to a special counsel instead? That would improve the morale of the American people. And I would say to the IRS employees, you know, you didn't all fail us. Some of you did a really good job. But we have failed the American people, and we're going to have to pay the price and get it right. And by the way, look over the shoulder of the people that are working next to you. If something had happened that targeted the president's political enemies, it's because the culture in your shop was wrong. You have to have an integrity to fix that and blow your own whistle on yourselves. Let me get back to that topic in a moment. Do you know this man well? Do you trust him to do the job? I, I have to say, I don't have a very good read on him. Uh, um, his, his loyalty to the administration, I think, is pretty well established. That tells me to be objective about dealing with this is, uh, is going to have a political flavor to it. No. And, and, and that's the problem, and I think we'll hear about that today in the, in the hearings. And you know, the targets of the, of the 501c3s and 501c4s, I don't think there's any question about how the IRS has loaded up against them and how it's, it may have resulted in a, different, a difference in some elections across this country, Bill. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very serious matter, and it cannot be swept under the rug. Okay, so I'm hopeful let, let's, they'll bring it out hard today. Let's get to that, and I apologize for the interruption. We have two minutes left here, and I want to get through a lot of material. You just said yourself a lot of good people working at the IRS, mm -hmm. but you have some questions about a few of them. This is the exchange between Bill O'Reilly and President Obama on Super Bowl Sunday regarding that investigation. So you're saying if you were no, involved, no corruption there at all. No, that's not what I'm flat. saying. That's actually no, no. But I want to know what you're saying. You're the leader absolutely. of the country. You're saying no corruption. No, None. no. There were some there were some boneheaded decisions boneheaded out, decisions. Of, out of a but local no office. mass corruption, not even mass corruption, not even a smidgen of corruption. You've heard that before. You hear it again. Not a smidgen of corruption. What do you think? I'd say, Bill, let's look at the data. Uh, a lot of these organizations have come forward, have come forward the Tea Party Patriots, True the vote, vote, the list goes on and on and on. I think you'll hear that data in the hearing today, uh, and the president's put a spin on it, but I don't think he can answer to this in an objective way. They are, the investigations that are going on are just simply buried, and they're slow walking this. Congress is in a difficult position because we really don't have enforcement capacity. We could bring a civil lawsuit. It'll be the end of the Obama administration before we get that concluded in court, so we can only bring this out in the public light and ask the American people, you rise up and demand that we get to the bottom of this IRS investigation. It's got to happen. Uh, they're also, of course, involved in enforcing Obamacare. And with the enforcement of the IRS on Obamacare, this wraps this whole thing up into a nation state that is looking over the shoulders of all of its people and trying to direct our lives in ways that we don't realize yet. Uh, this is a big deal. Eric Holder just last week said criminal charges are not off the table. So it, it would appear, based on that comment, that's still a possibility. Well, it's a possibility, it? but, but you know, it always when you go into an investigation, then it becomes a closed case, and they can promise you they're investigating and be doing nothing. Uh, we won't know until there happen to be some indictments, but we know Lois Lerner took the fifth. Uh, we know that we're not getting information forthcoming coming from this administration. It is a pattern in issue after issue. It's certainly a pattern within the IRS, and we need to push harder. It's going to be a very interesting hearing today before the Ways and Means Committee, and a good lot of members on that committee are well prepared, and I'm going to guess that their staff has worked through the night to make sure they've got the data in front of them ready to ask the right questions. Is, is that a suggestion in the 15 seconds we have left that there will be significant headlines from this hearing? I think there'll be e either from his statement or perhaps from the question and answer segment or both. It, 
I, I think that you know at least some of the questions are going to turn into headlines. I don't know if we're going to get answers, but if he fumbles a little bit today, we'll have a pretty good idea on where to dig deeper. That's probably what we can see happen. But it is a it is a it is a big deal today, and I want to focus on this myself quite a lot, Bill. And thank you for Steve, picking it up. You bet. Steve King, Republican from Iowa, will be watching from here. There on the hill. Thank you, sir.